had to be a very simple installation attended by 10 or 15 people, but it turns out you're um, going to be surprised of what's going to be happening tonight. And uh, really, we're so excited to see all of you. So excited. Happy to see all of you. And so, where we start, relax, and let's have fun. And I always say, let's make it an enjoyable and remember how to go that an unforgettable evening from the food downstairs that we all able to cook and to camaraderie and friendship and seeing family and just you really don't know how how uh, really blessed are we for this. Uh, uh, event. Again, good evening everyone. Good evening. And we welcome all of you to the 102nd anniversary and installation of San Francisco Post Lions Club. I am, of course, with all of those, some of you who don't know me, I'm Yoli Yab, and I'm going to be the master of ceremony for tonight's event. And uh, for tonight, we are so honored to have all of you, but to have especially some of you who are, I would say, dignitaries from the District 4 C4, and also dignitaries from the community that we serve. I would like to acknowledge most of you in Nepal, and if I miss anyone, please get my attention. Please raise your hand to be recognized, and don't be ashamed. Just get my attention. We're all family, friends, so let's just sit, relax, and really enjoy the evening. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> from the dignitaries from DC4C4, this, this is just a normal protocol for lions. So for some of you, stand lions, please bear with us. I uh, would like to start from the zone chair, zone chair of 2021. 2020-21, I can see two here. I have Lion the Unibakli. And I have the board, the zone chair of this club in coming 2021 and 2022, uh, zone chair Alfonso Ortega. Lion, I'm sorry, Lion Al Ortega. And of course, the incoming secretary of this report, C4, no other than Ola Sider. Lion Ola Sider. And uh, of course, first vice is the governor elect. I don't see him yet. And uh, district governor elect 2021 2022. District governor elect of very own Doc, Lion Dr. June Banella. And uh, we have our past district governor, I saw her walk in, our past district governor, Lion Esther Lee. And we have here the endorsed candidate for international director, our very own past district governor, Ken Ibarra. And of course, our current district governor, you might well say you can stand or club or whatever you want to do, our district governor, Fanny Chu. <laughs> I don't know if any, I miss anybody from the, uh... yes. oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> because it's our guest speak, I mean, it's our historic governor. Of course, I'm really so delighted 
on your device and say, I can jump and dance if you want to. Uh, very often, I would say, from the San Francisco Rosemine Club, and the very own, our past district governor, Lion, Club 
transferred their membership to SF Host Life Club, elected and inducted her new president, Lion Maggie Gulen. Right. Yep. Who is, well, not here with us tonight, but the great dad is here with us tonight. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And she revived the club and successfully initiated the health fair awareness and educating the community about the health risk and management of diabetes. She collaborated with the other Lions Eye Foundation and Eye Care Program where eyeglasses were collected, processed, and distributed in the third world countries, medical missions in the Philippines, and many others. Today, San Francisco hosts continue to share resources and collaborate with other Lions Club and community allies in reaching out to the poor and the less fortunate in our society in delivering the needs and bring them hope and healthy living. In behalf of all the officers and members of the San Francisco Host Lions Club, I invite you all to join us in this cause in making a difference to the lives of many in this community, in this community, and in the world. Welcome and may God bless us all. And to lead our invitation, may I call on Reverend Jurek Fernandez. May I invite you all to rise if you are able and connect with the God according to your own belief. Creator God, accept our thanks for this day, for this evening, and all its blessings, its opportunities, and its challenges. Come bless this gathering with unity, hope, and vision. May your greatness and love be present. We humbly ask that you continue guiding and directing San Francisco Lions Host Club, its members, its leaders, in their decisions and actions. Look at favor the officers of San Francisco Lions Host Club to be inducted tonight. Bless their leadership and service to your people through your spirit dwelling in them to fulfill their roles as servant leaders. We pray that they are always ever mindful of opportunities to render their service to the community, keeping in mind the enduring values of life. May they be challenged to offer their best and be assured of your presence and grace to continue to focus on the objectives of San Francisco Lions Host Club and God's will for the whole world. Be with the officers as you pour upon them renewed energy and grace-filled commitment to unconditionally serve your people and you as their God. Grant our prayers to your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please, uh, for those who are able, remain standing as we recite our pledge of allegiance. God bless America. I'm sorry. Pledge of allegiance to be led by Lion Roger Kayabiyaba. Thank 
for veterans, you can salute. And for others, you can put your right hand above your chest. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and the judicial, and the and justice for all. Thank you. To lead our patriotic song, God Bless America, may I call on the stage the Universal Choir. <coughs>
Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our district governor as an installing officer to our new members of San Francisco Hall's Lions Club. District Governor Fanny Chu, born in Hong Kong, went to college in Minnesota and New Orleans, lived in New York and Chicago, now lives in San Francisco Bay Area as a global realtor, speaker, NAR designation instructor. Didi Pan is also a columnist, guest and host of Chinese real estate radio and TV programs. She has also held leadership position in multiple trade and volunteer organizations. Didi Pan is blessed with a family. Daughter Melissa, first New Century Lions Club president, and family now lives in Seattle. Son Victor, past Leo president, and family lives now in Southern California. BT Fanny and his spouse Joseph are proud grandparents of Violet, Maverick, and David. Volunteerism is a major part of Fanny's life. An active lion with San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club since 1991. She has served and recognized many lion leaders, leadership achievements. Fanny is the LCIF Melvin Jones, Stanaway, and Helen Carroll Level. Her most gratifying achievement is in training, becoming the LCIP graduate and an LCI Lion certified instructor in 2019. DG Fanny's motto is be seen, be heard, be known. Fellow Lions, please stand in. Let's give our district governor Fanny Chu a warm welcome. Would you like to me say a few words first? Hello, guests, friends, and lions. You're in a very special family gathering here, our lion family, and the family of San Francisco host Lions Club. Uh, you heard from uh, Lion Peter about the history of this club. So Lions International, as you all know, was started in uh, 1917. And so in, uh, in California, in our district, this Lions Club, San Francisco Host, is the longest, most, the most senior club, right? Yes. With the longest history, longest history of 102 years old. Uh, yes, in our district, in our uh, um, MD4, which is multiple California, only uh, Oakland kind of beat you out just a little bit. So I want to tell you that the new members who have chosen this club, you have chosen well, really well. I, have, I am very indebted to this club also. On my journey, um, so I am a 30-year Lions. My home club is San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club. But during my, my journey learning to serve as in, in the Lion family as a leader. Guess who, who taught me the most? Lion Aura. Yes, she, she started me off. She's really teaching me all the basic, all the ropes, and uh, I'm really indebted to you. So if I do well, it's to her credit. Okay, so if I don't do well, she's also accountable. <laughs> I'm kidding. So, yes. So as I call your name, new members have been installed. Please come up and uh, Eduardo Mercado Picache. Lillian Sacklin.
Maria Moran. Bernardo de Guzman. And I have Evangeline de Guzman. Josephine Feliciano. Geraldine Benavista. Florida Benavent, Florida Ventura. And Rufino Rabat. Mr. Governor, these are the new members to the ESO. Thank Congratulations, uh, Lions of this club. You are, you are showing us the way that uh, membership is the lifeblood. You know, uh, you heard about all the services that you are doing. Guess who are the people doing all the services? Your members, every single one of you. So thank you, yes. And uh, may I call on the sponsors of this new members to be installed? Uh, sponsors, could you please stand kind of uh, behind the, your- Sponsors? Your, the, the members that you sponsored. First, uh, so first, the pins, okay. First, uh, the induction of new member ceremony. So what I will do is since you have chosen this club and have expressed your commitment and your pledge, I'm going to have you formally do that in front of this um, distinguished group. So after what I ask you, if you can please reply, I will or I do. Since you have expressed a desire to affiliate with this club and with Lions Club International, I now ask that you respond to my words with a simple I do or I will. Do you hereby accept membership in the San Francisco host Lions Club, knowing that you are encouraged to participate in functions of the club? Thank you. To the best of your ability, will you abide by the Lions Code of Ethics, attend meetings whenever possible, and contribute your share to the programs of your club, district, and Lions Club International? Thank you. You are officially now a member of the San Francisco host Lions Club by the authority vested in me by Lions Club International. So welcome them, all the new members. And now uh, the sponsors have already given you the, your package, but the, they also have something else. Pins. You all have the pins, right? Yeah. Yes, so if you can stop. Yeah, wear the pin well. This is our symbol. Remember my motto is be seen, be heard, be known. That's promoting Lionism and our service to our, your community and to the world. The pin is the first thing that people see. So make sure members wear your pin. And sponsors, after you pin them, I also have to have you make a commitment. So guess who are here who are non-lions yet? You will be called. So I hope that when you are called, you will step up and join them. Okay. 
sponsor state. It's a uh, Yoli, Line Yoli, and uh, Catherine is the sponsor, other sponsors, right? Okay, for the two of you, the sponsors, now I would like to ask you to, Line Yoli, and Line Yoli, to respond to my words with a simple I will. Will you fulfill the following obligations? Be a sponsoring mentor for your new lion. Make your new member feel welcome. Introduce your new member to all club members. Provide your new member with information about the club, its officers, and contributions. Arrange for orientation sessions for the new member. Be ready and willing to answer any questions that might arise. Encourage the new member to discuss with you any problems and offer possible solutions. Assist the new member in developing into an outstanding lion. Will you? I do. I will. Great. Thank you so very much. Congratulations. <laughs> you will please wear the emblem with pride, for it represents your membership in the world's largest service organization, the association, an association that has had a distinguished legacy of meeting needs worldwide. So, but on top of that, you are in a very, very special elite life club that you have chosen. So on behalf of, of uh, this club, I now present to all of you, your new members. Welcome them. Yes. Before you go, this is the centennial book given to you, the history of San Francisco Boating here and all the activities they've done for all the years. I want to let all of you know that during this pandemic year, they have not stopped, this club has not stopped serving. It's still out there very much so, and uh, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you so much, and welcome to the club. And earlier, I was uh, trying to use all the dignitaries that I can uh, that I can see and know, and uh, I was waiting for the special dignitary to arrive. And I think he is here now. And of course, we are truly honored and privileged to have representation from the San Mateo County, which is one of the counties that this club has been serving for years. We've been serving the Season Hospital too. You and me were there. And uh, of course, let's, be, let's give a big round of applause and you can stand if you want to, our honorable San Mateo County Supervisor, President David Canepa. And to, um, to introduce our installing officer, may I call on my sister, my best friend, Lion Araceli Aguilar. Calling officer, our very own lion, PDG Rod Mercado. <laughs> He's an engineer by trade, accountant, corporate, executive, and entrepreneur by profession, and humanitarian at heart. Lion Rod. has built a professional career marked by leadership 
at the highest levels as well as lifetime of community and civic engagement dedicated to improving the lives of others. Over 30 years of career, Lion Rod has led numerous multinational companies and is currently the owner and CEO of Financial Refuge, LLC, a company he founded over a decade ago dedicated to helping people improve their financial lives, which has since become a household brand for millions of Filipino Americans. He also founded an overseas success link, processing LLC, Hexagon LLC, and Saldo Serra in Mexico, all subsidiary companies of financial rent. Nine Rad has also spent years dedicated to char charitable giving and active community involvement, advocating for numerous humanitarian and child children's programs. For years, Lion Rad has been an active member of Lions Club International. He has served in various officer positions, including the San Francisco House Lions Club as president in 1912 to 13. District 4C4 Zone Chair, District 4C4 Governor in 2016 to 17. As District Governor, Lion Rod was recognized by Lions Club International for having the highest membership growth in all the United States and was eventually appointed as a specialty club consultant to spearhead the effort of tar chartering Filipino clubs around the U.S. and other countries with Filipino migrants. Please, let's welcome our very own PDG Lion Rad Mercado. Thank you, Lion Ara. Um, good evening, everyone, fellow Lions, dignitaries. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. I'm so happy to be back. I not I've been absent for the longest time. I would say, you know, because of uh, there's so many things that we can do as as humanitarians or as citizens of this country. We either you concentrate on what you're doing best, like doing or doing your business, and at the same time, not forgetting that you have a responsibility to your community also. A lot of people would ask me, how would you differentiate your companies from other companies in the industry? And I would always say, you know, my company has, is socially responsible. You know, one of the core values of my company is to be able to serve the community and you know, really, even to the extent to the, um, even to the point when we forget about profit, you know, believe it or not. But anyway, today I'm here and I'm very honored to do the installation of officers of my home club. I was, yeah, I became a member in 2008 through my Ninong Roger Gulen. Hi Ninong, how are you? And, and since then, I never stopped. Um, I laid low for a while, but again, as I said, once you're a lion, you're always be a lion. And no matter whether you're wearing your pin or not, you will always be a lion somewhere. Welcome to the insulation ceremony of the newly elected members of the San Francisco Host Lions Club Board of Directors. I will be calling the the members of the board one by one and I just would like to mention that they have been elected and um, been briefed as to what kind of responsibilities and roles they're going to be playing with the club. I'd like first to start with our 
Marketing Communications Chairperson, Lion Yoli. Lion Yoli, you have been elected to serve your club as Marketing Communications Director. Will you develop and implement the club communications plan to publicize club activities to both members and non-members? God's willing, I will. Expand newsworthy accomplishments via all available means of effective communications and media distribution? I will. Will you, as marketing communications chairperson, perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? God's willing, I will. Thank you, Lion Yoli. Thank you, Trinity. Second, I would like to call Lion Evelyn Pine, our service activity reporter. How are you, Lion Evelyn? I'm okay. Yeah, so I, we, were had, we had this discussion earlier, and you mentioned that you will be assisting the, the secretary in terms of reporting, right? And you would be exclusively reporting the activities of the club to the district. Yes. Okay. And, and as such, sorry, as such, will you as SAR director perform all your club duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you so much, Lion Avenue. Oops, sorry. Stickers. Our LCIF coordinator is Lion Angelita Mostaciza. Hi, Lion Angelita. You will serve as LCIF coordinator. Will you communicate the mission? of LCIF to your club and collaborate with the service chairperson and LCIF district coordinator to promote LCIF. Yes. Will you as LCIF coordinator perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you, Eli Angel. Next, I would like to call our membership chairperson, Lion Dr. Ruth De Peralta. Lion Ruth, you've been elected to serve your, your club as membership chairperson. Yes. Will you help develop and implement a membership growth plan? and retention program to encourage and assist the club in recruiting and retaining high quality members. I will have Will you as membership chairperson perform all of the duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? Yes, I will. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to call the, our four club directors, Lion Linda Cruz, Lion Eric Vergara, Lion Mario Arbis, and Lion Romy Allo. Lion, Lion Linda and Lion Eric. You still have one year to serve your club as directors, right? Yes. And Lion Mario Arbis and Romy Alot, Lion R. Romy Alot, you have been elected to serve your club as directors for two years. With the other officers, will you assist to formulate and execute the policies and new business? Faithfully attend board and club meetings and give unselfishly of your time and effort to advance your club and Lions Club International. Will you as directors perform all of your duties 
as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability. Thank you so much. Lion Pat Anchara, my brother. <laughs> no, never in crime. <laughs> Lion Pat, you've been elected to serve as Lion Tamer. Will you care for the display and storage of the club's property, flags, gun, and gavel? Will you also serve as Sergeant at Arms and greeter for both guests and members? Will you, as Lion Tamer, perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? Thank you, Lion Pat. Lion Jesus Mustasisa, may I request you to come over as tail twister for the club? Lion Jesus, yes, sir. Will you promote harmony, fellowship, fun, and enthusiasm to draw the members together at club meetings, using your best judgment? to assist with club administrative fundraising. I will. Will you perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? I will. Thank you, Lion Jesus. Thank you. Lion Roger Kayabyag, our auditor. Roger. <laughs> Lion Roger, you have been elected to serve your club as auditor. As auditor, you will be primarily used by your club to ensure that the financial statement of the club are prepared in accordance with specified criteria by examining records, reports, operating practices, and documentation. Will you perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing document to the best of your ability. Yes, I will. Thank you. Lion Araceli Aguilar. <laughs> Why are you so dirty? I'm with you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you didn't hear anything? Lion Araceli Aguilar, you have been elected to serve your club as treasurer. Oh, at least there's a new one. <laughs> you always been the secretary, right? Will you manage the collection of club dues and be the custodian of all clubs' receipts and expenditures, giving bond for the faithful fulfillment of duties in keeping with recognized and accepted business and financial practices? Yes, I will. Will you, as treasurer, perform all your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? I will. Thank you, Lyra. <laughs> oh, some of you may stay here. Yeah, come on. Lion Emmanuel Pahe who recently lost 30 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Now the secret is keto. That's what he said. Okay. I don't know what it meant, but anyway. Lion Mani Pahe, you've been elected to serve your club as secretary. Will you maintain all of the general records of the club, submit reports as required by the district and international, and serve as the liaison between your club zone, this district, and Lions Club International? Will you also serve as an active member of the districts of the district governor's advisory committee, attending the meetings of your zone? Will you, as secretary, perform all of your duties as provided by your clubs to burning documents to the best of your ability? I will. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Lionel. And I would like to call our immediate past president.
layang pasona ang cetan. Line line pass. Yes. During immediate past president. As immediate past president, you are expected to provide advice and leadership to the board of director regarding past practices in governing the club. You are also expect, expected to support the president on an as needed basis. Will you as immediate past president perform all of your duties as provided by the club's governing documents to the best of your ability? I will. Thank you, Laila. Thank you. I'd like to I'd like to call our vice presidents Lions Peter Kasid and Lion Clarinda Gibara as first and second vice president respectively. Lion Clarinda, Lion Peter, you have been elected to serve as vice president of the club. Will you in order of your office and presence substitute for the president when absent from any club or board of directors meeting and oversee the functioning of such committees as the president may designate. I will. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. If requested, will you also serve as an active member of the district governor's advisory committee? Yes, yes I, I will. will. Attending the meeting of your zones? Yes, yes I, I will. will. Will you, as vice president, presidents, perform all of your duties as provided by your club's document, uh, your, your club's governing documents, to the best of your ability? Yes, yes I, I will. will. Thanks so much. This time, I would like to call. The man of the hour. Yeah. Lion Reverend Leonard O. Oh. The club president. Lion Leonard, you have been elected to the office of president of this club. You are its chief executive officer. Your success is a reflection of your club's success. Now is the time to continue building your club in every way possible so that it may be an example to other clubs and a credit to the community and district and to the Lions Club International. Will you preside at all regular and special meetings of your club and board of directors, appoint standing and special committees and ensure their success. Will you also serve as an active member of the district governor's advisory committee attending the meetings of your zone? Will you as president perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? I will, Gossip. Thank you, Lion Leonard. <laughs> Fellow Lions, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure to declare these Lions duly installed into the respective offices to which they have been elected. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you all. Congratulations to all the officers, especially to our President, Reverend Lyon, Reverend Leonard Oaks.
Mejal on Lion Clarinda Guevara to introduce our guest speaker. Good evening, distinguished guests, fellow Lions, ladies and gentlemen. David J. Canepa is a fourth generation San Mateo County resident who grew, who grew up in Pacifica before settling into Daily TV, where he currently resides with his wife Anna and young son David Pierre. He is a former Daily City mayor and currently serves as board president of the San Mateo County Board of Supervisors. He has elected to the San Mateo County Board of Supervisors in November 2016 and was unanimously appointed by his fellow supervisors to the Metropolitan Transportation Commission on January 12, 2021. Canepa represents District 5, which includes the city of Brisbane, Broadmoor, the town of Colman, the city of Daly City, and parts of the city of San Bruno and the city of San, South San Francisco. He serves as board president 2021. As supervisor, Canepa continues to serve on the board of directors for the Bay Area Quality Management District and C CHG. He also serves as boards such as the first five commission, Health Plan of San Mateo, San Mateo County Medical Center, the Commission on Aging Community, Connect Corrections in Partnership and Associations of Bay Area Governments. During Canepa's career, he has focused on investing in the creation of affordable housing, improving public safety, enhancing public transportation, and ending discrimination in all of his forms. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. Let us all welcome Honorable San Mateo County Supervisor President, David Canepa. Maganda Gabi, Mabuhay! So let me just say that I'm delighted to be here for many reasons. Uh, the first is, I want someone to pull out their calculator and tell me what year it was 102 years ago. What does that, can anyone tell me? No, what is it again? We got different numbers. Can someone tell me what was happening in 1920? Any ideas what happened uh, a year before? We we're dealing with a pandemic called influenza. And that's Spanish flu. And that's, that's where I'm gonna take my speech today. So we look at our history and you look at the pillars and the foundation of your organization. The context of that is rooted in service. So we look at the, the Spanish flu, you look at COVID, the parallels right now are so great. When I assumed the presidency of the Board of Supervisors, it's only for a year, one of the things our goals were to end COVID and to stimulate the economy. Now this is a, a collaboration of, of many people in many groups, right? Our health department, the Lions, club and the work that you do around public health. Um, cities, working with them, making sure in San Mateo County today, today, 12 plus, we're at 85% vaccinated. That's, give it up. That's, 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 and if you remember, President Biden said by July 4th in the United States, they wanted to hit 70%. So we're well beyond that. And so this group, as many other groups, we come together collectively. We come together. And I hate to say it, you look at the greatest generation ever, World War II, they came together. We came together as a nation because of the adversity and because of the war. This pandemic, while it's Exacerbate, exacerbated disparities, it's brought us together. It's brought us together in ways we've never thought. And so 
a lot of you I know, a lot of you I have great respect for. And the respect I have for you is that you're always helping and in service. And so I'm here tonight to acknowledge and show you that respect, firstly, that we are honored in San Mateo County to have this Lion Club, Lions Club and all the others. So give yourselves a round of applause. So tomorrow's a big day. And I said it should be a state holiday. June 15th is a reopening. Doesn't mean that COVID is over, but we've made some tremendous strides. When you think about it, millions of people have died because of COVID. But when you look at the data dashboard throughout the state, you look at our county dashboard, cases have just declined uh, precipitously. It's not something I'm telling you, it's just something that's a, a fact. And so small businesses, you're talking thousands wiped out. We have a gentleman here who has a business wiped out forever. There are some that have been extraordinarily resilient. Many people I know who've used their mortgages, who've done everything they can to keep their businesses open. We're gonna be reopening the state, the county follows state guidance. So when it comes to that tier structure, remember the colors? Yellow, purple, red. That goes away tomorrow. That goes away tomorrow. And that's gonna be significant. But if we don't have public health, if we don't have public health, then we don't have economic health. And so we're on our way, we're on our way to ending COVID, and you bet your, you bet your bottom dollar that we're gonna stimulate the economy. Now, you're gonna hear a lot in the news, and I'll be in Washington, D.C. Um, in the next several weeks. I serve on the Metropolitan, thank you, Tony, five minutes, um, the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. There's a lot of money coming from the feds, right? A lot, it's American Rescue Plan. The county will probably get about $125 million of that. And so these are significant, significant dollars. We're gonna see what we're gonna do to make sure that we drive those dollars um, into communities. One of the things that we're looking at is in San Mateo County, how do we identify the zip codes that need it? Not saying that everyone doesn't need it, but how do we program those dollars and how do we become stewards of those dollars? So let me just close up and wrap up by saying this. Uh, we're proud of you. Um, you recognize um, how important our community is. And we think as the County Board of Supervisors that we have to be here and respect that. And so with that, we are going to um, go through some commendations. We got food downstairs. So we're gonna do it rapid fire. How's that sound? So if we say your name, come up and it's going to be really really quick the president day the president reverend leonard oaks thank you peter cossett peter cossett clarinda guavara pastora ancheta emmanuel pahe erichele aguilar my good friend rodrigo kayabia jesus Mosta Siza, Pat and Chetta, Mario Arbe, Romy Alog. See, I created a line. Linda Cruz, the famous Eric Vergara, Dr. Ruth De Peralta, Angelita Mosta Siza. Evelyn Pahe, good friend, very good church-going person. Uh, Yolanda Kayabia, okay. Eduardo Mercado Picache, all right. Mr. President, may I look at one of those certificates? So it reads as follows. On the occasion of your installation as a San Francisco host Lions Club, your office, Lions meet the lead, need of local communities in the world every day because they share a core belief to serve their community. 
Thank you for your commitment to serving our local community dated June 14th. One last round of applause. And thank you, Ken Navarro, for your service to San Bruno City Council. And you know what I like about Ken? And I like, we'll get the photo of the pastor, don't worry. Don't worry. You, you, I, I'm with you, President. I'm with you. Don't gavel me down. But continues to serve even as an uh, elected official. And that says a lot about who you are. All right, let's take the picture. All right. Okay, I'm there. I got you, Pastor. part of the activity of the evening to deliver <clears throat> her valedictory address. Madam President, Pastora Angeta, Lion President 2020-2021, Lion Pastora Angeta. Distinguished guests and dignitaries, fellow lions, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you. I would like to thank each and every one of the San Francisco Host Lions Club for giving me the trust, honor, and opportunity of leading this wonderful club for the year 2020 and 2021. COVID-19 pandemic crisis prevented us from celebrating our club's 100 year anniversary. But with everybody's help, cooperation and support from the members, friends and benefactors, we're able to show and tell of what our club had accomplished in so many ways, big and small, for serving the community here and abroad for 100 years through our Centennial Souvenir Program. We have this. This is the life of the San Francisco host for almost 100 years. We have a copy of this downstairs, so those, those who are interested, you can buy it for $20. Thank you. <clears throat> I know that it was very hard and restricted us from doing a lot of things due to COVID-19. But despite of this, we're still managed to the best of our ability and continue to serve the community such as we join and work together with other clubs in giving free flu shots in three different sites in San Mateo County from September to December. We volunteer in testing and administering COVID-19 vaccines. We were able to raise some funds to support the Worldwide Hunger Relief Program through making donation to LCIF, Daily City Food Pantry, Good Samaritan Food Pantry, and Intanay Rizal Philippines that ask for our help feeding the small low income community due to COVID-19 that almost all of them has no income to feed their families. We also help pick up foods from the food bank and deliver to the needy seniors every Saturday. 
We made donation to support the student speaker contest program. Ups and downs are inevitable, but under these circumstances, we did what is best for the club. All of this will not be possible without everyone's help, support, and cooperation. From the bottom of my heart, thank you everyone. Thank God that we are all safe, except that we lost one of the past president of this club, Lion Romy Molina. May his soul rest in peace. Thanks for the new technology that we are able to hold our monthly meetings and see each other virtually. And I am so happy now that we can see each other in person again and we have more bonding to time to come. Hopefully, this pandemic crisis will never happen again, and we're back with our normal and happy lives together. As, the, as uh, David Canepa said, tomorrow is uh, like a welcome back to us. Welcome back, California. My fellow Lions and members, thank you all so much for everything. To the new sets of officers, 2021-2022, under the leadership of Reverend Lion Leonard Oaks, we wish you all the best and a better year for us. Rest assured that we're all here for the support. Good luck and may God bless us all. And not but the least, and not, <laughs> I mean, and last but not the least, Thank you to my husband. Lion Pat and Shetta. Thank you so much for everything, for your support, and thank you for driving Miss Daisy wherever <laughs> and whenever she wants to. Thank you everyone for being with us tonight. I would like to give certificate of appreciation for their exceptional services to the club and to the community. To, to the following, please come forward as I call your name. Lion Chester Ahero and Lion Thelma Ahero, thank you both for your efforts and time to make it possible for our beautiful Centennial Souvenir Program. No, we line up. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. That's fine. <laughs> Lion Jess, Master Sisa, and Lion Lita, Master Sisa, thank you both for your 100% support on our health fairs and being there when we needed that. Lion Evelyn Pari, thank you for all your help and reporting our SAR promptly. Lion Dr. Ruth De Peralta, despite of your busy schedule, you still make time as a covering doctor on our health care. Thank you so much. Lion Roger Kayabiak and Lion Yoli Kayabiak. Thank you both for volunteering, picking up, and delivering foods to the needy seniors every Saturday. I know your back hurts already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. The other flap is in the back. And this lion is my mentor, my friend, my enemy, <laughs> thank you for your support and guidance and being there when I needed help. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your help. And thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Ladies and gentlemen, our Lion of the Year 2020-2021, Lion Araceli Aguilar. Yeah.
Thank you very much, Lion and Yoli. So I don't know what to say, but anyway, uh, I'm DGE or District Governor elect Dr. June Valera. In the next few days, I will be your servant leader, the District Governor, serving Lionistic year 2021 to 2022. And I'm from San Francisco Phil Am Lions Club celebrating its 50th charter anniversary. So I am the first district governor of my club after 50 years of community service. However, I am also an associate member of San Francisco House. I'm part of this, I carry also the banner of this club. And in fact, uh, uh, most of you serve with me in the community as being the medical director of the multi-clubs serving our community for the last more than 10 years. And it's true that we partner with the San Mateo County for the last 10 years because they provide us the flu shots that we are giving to the community. In fact, we are also involved in the COVID-19 vaccination because of the drive through flu shot clinic that we have formulated, the, the, the protocol that we did was followed by the San Mateo County. In fact, we are giving COVID-19 vaccine through the community, through the uh, immunization program of the San Mateo uh, County at Samaritan House. We are also giving COVID vaccine through a drive through flu shot. And most of our volunteers are from this club. Thank you very much. Now, I would like to I would like to recognize some of uh, the uh, cabinet members or officers from this club, or other cabinet members from other club who are here. So, first is we have the co-chair of GMT, Lion Manipahe. And the co-chair for the GMT for New Club Development, Lion Yoli Kayabiam. And also the district co-chaplains, co Lion Yoli Kayabiam and Lion Roger Kayabiam. And we have also the uh, diabetes co-chair, Lion Paz Ancheta. And uh, I would like also to recognize some of the uh, lions who will be serving with me from other clubs, our cabinet secretary, Lion Ora Sailor. 
our uh, Zone Chair, Lion Uni Buckley. And our Zone Chair, Lion Al Ortega. And of course, our GMT Chair, and also a PDG Advisor, Lion PDG Esther Lee. And of course, our PDG Advisor, Lion Rod Mercado. Again, we will have fun serving our community next year, although we are already serving our community. Thank you and good night. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. It's a wonderful scenery to see here. Lots of leaders in your respective uh, duties. Good evening, fellow lions, guests, friends, and families. Let me greet you all with a warm virtual hug. This hug marks the beginning of our lasting friendship and working together in bringing light 
and hope for the hopeless, the destitute, the lost and the less fortunate in our community and the world. Together, we can do it. That's what we've always been doing, collaborating and sharing our, our ideas and resources for the benefit of all. Lions all over the world are gifted with love and compassion that make this world a better place to live. We give because we find peace and satisfaction seeing that by lifting the hand of the fallen and raising them to a better future, we too have a part of the difference and that we feel we have responded to our call to love our neighbors just as we love ourselves. Our theme for 2021 and 2022 Weaving a beautiful tapestry through sharing and collaboration. I have asked the presence of these community leaders and allies in our assembly, albeit limited due to the COVID restrictions. Had the state of California set the opening today instead of tomorrow, this place would have been filled. Because I believe in their cause and their advocacy. They are similar to what we do. And what more is greater than to collaborate and share our ideas and resources to weave together a beautiful tapestry in this part of the world that benefits the world. I have responded to the call of the Lions because I found the sense of belongingness with a common goal that is to serve and bring light to the lives of others. Lions Club is full of wonder and full of love. You never know what it takes when you say yes. It takes you to places. It introduces you to people, new friends, and develop great relationships. It makes one a better person with a wider perspective in life. But most importantly, it takes you to a wider vision in your being woven to the needs of others with their compassion and love and lift them up to a new level of life. You see, we are all called here for a reason. We are called from different backgrounds, yet we treat each other to be on the level with a great purpose of being a beacon of hope for all. I believe in the leadership of San Francisco host Lions Club leaders and members. Their gifts are waiting for the moment to shine and now is the time. We have the responsibility to help them explore the possibilities of leading by equipping them with the knowledge of true leadership and service. Nurturing them with love and respect until they come into fruition of what they have genuinely found to be who they really are. A godly gifted human being whose heart and purpose of life shine in the eyes of God and of the people. My dear friends, nothing can separate us, nor deter us from giving service to the people we all love and we all do because we do it together in harmony and joy. Allow me to journey with you in exploring the goodness of life that is waiting for us. Tomorrow, the County of San Mateo, through the leadership of our guest speaker, David Canepa, will reopen the state. And I am so glad that we are collaborating with them. Let's share our time and resources. I am happy to see that many of our San Francisco host members have registered and will attend. Early this afternoon, I got a call from the Vice President of, on Business Affairs, Tina Ann, and he, she couldn't make it. But Seton had been our partner. They have supported us in the purchase of a new vision machine in the past. 
and, the, and she said she will continue to support us in any way that they can. But I'm glad that we have with here, with us here, the past president of San Francisco host and the Philippine past under Secretary of Health, Line Dr. Jimenico de Valle, you are also representing Sidon, and we are honored with your presence, my fraternal brother and fellow lion. Maria Yap, who is the CEO of Peninsula Food Runners, cannot make it tonight, but expresses her blessing for partnership and collaboration in picking and distributing food donations from different restaurants in the Bay Area to the shelter homes and senior livings instead, instead of being thrown to the garbage. We also have with us in our assembly clergy members who are members of the ecumenical group. And I am so honored to have my friend here, Father Roland De La Rosa, Mother De La Rosa, and of course, Jurek Fernandez. <laughs> always being supportive. I, I know I did not ask your permission to have uh, your members be part of Lions Club, and, and they are wonderful singers of the universe, and now they are San Francisco Post singers. And I would like to thank our very wise and able district governor, Fanny Chu, for gracing us with your presence and inducting our new members tonight. I ask that you please continue to guide us with your wisdom. I also would like to thank PDG Ron Mercado for quickly responding to my request as the installing officer for our club offices. I remember being the senior deacon for Brother Master Glenn Alvarado when he raised you to the sublime degree Master Masons. And I walk you through the dark to see the light. And I am honored that you do the same to me and my officers. We are also honored to have with us tonight International Board recommending Kenny Barra, whom I met at the Multiple District Convention in Reno and last month to grace us with his presence tonight. I tell you, that was my first time to be there, and you should endeavor to attend conventions. You will see, meet people. It was there that I met PDG Gary Wong of Oakland uh, Lions Club, who surprised me with his humility to sit down with me and became my mentor on the spot when I said, I am the president-elect of San Francisco Post, and I'm the first time attendee of this gathering. Some, that is a true lion. Someone who gives his time unconditionally. It's tough what he's doing. Listen attentively, then share his knowledge with humility. You will see that at the Lions Club International. That's why I accepted this responsibility to be the president of San Francisco Host Lions Club because of people like Gary Wong, Chester and Emma Ahero, Manny and Evelyn Pai, and all the dedicated officers and members of San Francisco Host. On June 23, Wednesday at 7 p.m., San Francisco Host is sponsoring the District 4C4 San Francisco Coordinating Council of Lions Club virtual meeting. There will be free raffles and prizes. Please sign up with our secretary, Lion Mani Pai, our able newly installed vice president, first vice president, Peter Kossid. Don't tell me I didn't tell you this. I think I did. Is leading the virtual hosting in collaboration with the district 4C4 virtual guru, Lion August Valera, and first district governor elect, Lion John Yui. I ask you also to be well aware and check your emails for the Lions Club International District 4C4 the thread where you can follow the different news and events for our district and beyond. Thanks to the leadership of our able district governor Fanny Chu and the other great leaders who have shared all their resources for the benefit of all members. Our district governor elect Dr. June Valera, Valera has so much in waiting for us to work, to work together upon his installation in a few days. Friends, life is calling. What are we waiting? 
Let's go. Serve with vision and courage to light up the lives of many. And so with that, my friends, I'd like to call on our San Francisco host choir to inspire us with a song, Be Thou My Vision, You Light Up My Life. So all of those of you, I will be asking you to be to join the, uh, the choir for convention. Uh, we, I hope that our leaders here with the district are, are listening and will invite us in our future gatherings to sing whatever they want us to do. Geraldine Benavista, Josephine uh, Feliciano, uh, Van G. De Guzman, Lion Brother. Oh, they're, they're all lying now. Lion. Glory <laughs> Vitura, 
Lion uh, Rufino Rabang. And, and the rest of you will be part of this. And of course, with our crew, uh, Hannah Maluyut, John Schultz, and um, Jasmine Cole. And also, I'd like to thank uh, all of the crews and the committees who, who did the things for this to make possible. Uh, but I don't want to forget, uh, I don't want to forget in introducing my family. They're here with us uh, at the back of this rice. Uh, And all my friends and all of you, thank you so much uh, this uh, wonderful night. And uh, it doesn't stop here. This is just the beginning. We're going to continue on collaborating and sharing with all the others. So there's more food downstairs. And uh, have a good night. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, hold on, the uh, district governor has a, uh, something to present. Uh, it's to congratulate, help me, our district, uh, on, on behalf of the district, we're congratulating in, uh, your president, Revelyn uh, Yes. So. And your cabinet.